Hey guys, welcome to this footies Alessandrini player review. Uh, so moving on, I saw that Alessandrini was given a 92 rated card, and I was really surprised because his last in form was an 86 rated card, and I was expecting EA to give him a 89 rated card, not a 92. So that's a plus six boost on his last in form, which is incredible. So I completed this SBC for about. 80,000 coins, which isn't too much for the quality of player you're getting. Moving on to his in-game stats, he has 99, 99 balance, 99 agility, 99 shot power, and he's a Foster Foster. So that was pretty much enough to make me want to try this card out. So I tried him on Foot Champs because I was like, why the hell not? Um, and it's the toughest game mode out there. So if he performs well there, I mean, he's gonna be worth it for all of your so moving on into some of the in-game clips so i honestly scored most of my goals with alessandrini using his weak foot which was really surprising and his finishing inside the box on either foot was absolutely brilliant he didn't miss any chance inside the box um barring one and that too it was from a obscure angle so um now let's talk about his pace he is 99 pace he is rapid like rapid um there are very few players i've used that actually can catch up to alessandrini or even match his speed and when he sprints in a straight line he's unstoppable and um, honestly the gameplay that you're watching right now has a little bit of delay to it because i was playing on a four bar for champs connection and there was a bit of input delay which actually didn't let me use alessandrini to his full potential but he, despite the delay, he felt really, really smooth in the ball and I could turn with him really easy. And another good thing about him that he could get onto his left foot really, really quickly. And he could change direction really quickly, which makes him really dangerous in and around the box because he just makes that little room to fire a shot off. Talking about a shooting, um, he has really good shot power, 99 in game and uh, his shots outside the box were really powerful i mean i didn't catch them as well as i wanted to normally i'm really good from shooting outside the box but i mean due to the input delay it didn't work as effectively but i'm sure if i play him in seasons with a better connection it would be much much better so his movement off the ball was really good he used to make some darting runs in between the defenders which used to complement my attack and give me another option to pass to. So let's talk about his strength. Alessandrini has decent strength. I wouldn't say it's bad because I did manage to hold off most players off the ball or uh, not including central defenders because the center backs would actually easily push him off the ball considering they're much stronger than him. And um, yeah, I wouldn't consider it a con at all. Oh, Alessandrini's passing was, I'd say, adequate to describe it best. It wasn't um, extra special, wasn't extraordinary. It was just about good. He wouldn't misplace too many passes. It would go as intended. And um, he had decent crossing. Uh, I tried to whip in a couple of balls from corners. And he would give those high loopy crosses, which would actually cause most keepers a bit of problem unless they have the come out for corner straight so moving on to his review i'm gonna give alessandrini a 9.5 on 10 he is a very very good player and i'd highly recommend you do this sbc considering we're at the end of fifa and for a value for coins he is a 9 on 10 just considering the fact he's, that he's untradeable if he was tradable he would get a 15 on 10 for value so hope you guys enjoyed that review and i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one thank you for your support and a like and a subscription would be greatly appreciated thank you guys